private shout-outs. Um, to the next talk. Oh, no. In the next talk, the next talk will be about access to bodies. Bodies are political. Uh, there are a lot of lots of demands to Congress to strive for more diversity, and this talk, I guess, is one of those talks, one of those calls. We have an we have a translation to English. The correct URL is streaming.c3lingo.org. Yeah. Nadja will talk about why body enhancement isn't just to improve the body, but also possibly fun. Have fun with that. Yeah, hello. Hi. And you're listening to the translation of this talk, and you're listening to Sebalis and... Philip. Okay. And I am Nadja, says the speaker, and the talk is Access to Bodies, a post-human guideline for technological and physical applications. I'm going to talk to you about various insights and, and views on the body and, and accesses that should take a few minutes, and then there will be lots of examples about my work. I will not try to follow a stringent logical narrative and there will be inserts on the way from the one euro uh, jewelry project. Uh, uh, not quite. It's about <laughs> where is that cost one euro being affixed to a body. I am um, an artist and I studied jewelry, uh, which is an artistic medium too. There are two places in Germany where you can study that, in Halle, uh, Halle Saale, uh, close to Leipzig, and in Munich. And I've always asked myself, well, jewelry, uh, what does that actually mean? There is a theory that uh, clothing uh, only came after jewelry or um, to <laughs> provide place to uh, fix it to. And ultimately, uh, jewelry as a description of the body. We have we wear rings because we have fingers. We're wearing bracelets. Uh, we have wearing chains because we have, a, we have a neck. And the question then is, what actually is the body? And the body is a situation that keeps changing and depends on social and uh, social constructs. And of course, technology as well changes the body and extends it and is invasive. And the body in the digital world, of course, that's where we spend a lot of time these days in the digital world. The body more or less dissolves. We don't really need the body there, but there still is that idea of the body. It, it lives on in that space. We have avatars, and without the body, we cannot think. But this dis dissolution of the body ha feeds back into our analog consciousness and changes our relationship to the body. Um, this, is an, uh, uh, this, is, this picture is a Chanel fashion show where the spring and summer trends 2017 were presented. And these, of course, are then shown in the year 2016. This took place in Paris. And this is the catwalk. Uh, you see the servers in the background and the models in the foreground that still ha wear the same kind of Chanel fashion, which they have done for 50 years. But the models look very different. Or perhaps they are, well, they are androids. So this is about the human uh, that is uh, subjected to design and changed. Chain, 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 copy, JPEG. One euro jewelry. One euro jewelry um, ring. Yeah, you can. And well, you know all these uh, classic uh, life logging, uh, life clogging uh, pictures uh, where technology uh, is well uh, worn uh, very close to the body uh, and becomes a piece of jewelry uh, to record the entire life, more or less. Th these days, you all have smartphones and keep posting on Facebook or Instagram and doc documenting our life or logging it. And about all these occupations, I came across Cyborgs Association, uh, a, Berlin, a Berlin association that deals critically with that cyborg topic or deals with it. 
um, theoretica. We are different protagonists, the theorists, intellectuals, software engineers. And I have an artistic position in that field. And that is, for example, also about medical applications, using open software, giving access to the body. If, for example, you wear an implant, you keep having to go to the hospital and the software has to be updated, but you yourself do not have that access or open Bluetooth interfaces in the body. So that kind of, that cyborg idea, of course, is nothing new. Pacemakers have been around since the 50s or 60s, the 1950s or 60s, and pills, well, you know, ibuprofen is a very popular painkiller. So, um, uh, I guess it was five years ago that I was in Leipzig at the trade fair. The largest orthopedics trade fair in the world takes place in Leipzig, and uh, there's this huge parkour by Otto Bock where all these prosthetics are displayed, and there is this this uh, pool where every half every every half hour someone goes in and shows that that their prosthetics are waterproof and. That has, it's an almost zoo-like situation where everyone's taking pictures. The, the classical cyborg idea, you have prosthetics and replace parts of the body and try to improve it that way. One euro jewelry bracelet. Now, this, these are examples from the beauty industry, which, of course, also works with innovation and technology a lot. They have the newest technology all the time stem cells, advanced technology, DNA, retinal, infrared technology. You surely know pictures like this as well. This is beauty technology advertisements, advertisements um, for a face cream. And you don't quite know, is this a VR advertisement or uh, what is it? Um, so, you need technology to increase your stance, improve your stance, and, and, and technology is being used to communicate the purity of nature, come back to that original position. This is Robocop, which of course, uh, which I'm sure you all know, and the top of the cyborgs, I suppose, and this woman is getting herself, putting on some sun lotion, and as soon as the sun lotion leaves this whitish kind of veil, it's, uh, that is a Titan prism filter that covers the skin. So what I'm what I'm getting at, this 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 suit that the Robocop wears exists has been around for a long time, just in a different form and almost transparent that you don't see it. One euro jewelry uh, neck chain or whatever, and. This is the lipstick from the 50s, the beauty product for the woman at the time. Since the 50s and 1950s, everyone had to have lipstick. And the Revlon brothers then uh, invented nail varnish as well. And the history of nail varnish goes back much longer, but the kind of nail varnish we know these days comes from the automobile industry. And the Revlon brothers then thought, oh, that's cool, you could actually apply this to fingernails as well. And uh, that created a whole industry. The Revlon brothers then were the first in the 1950s uh, that uh, brought lips, uh, as lipstick became ready for the market, they were the first to match lipstick to nail varnish uh, by, in terms of color. And of course, this has huge economic importance too, even in times of war, prices for lipstick remain stable and it keeps getting bought as well. So what, I'm, what am I getting at? Actually, uh, these both are technologies. We have here the te technology, technology and beauty technology. Uh, at the end, they are not really much different. You see the guy that lost his fingertip and uh, has built a, U a USB stick to replace it. That was a few years ago, and that stick only has about two giga gigabytes capacity. And then there is this fashion blogger that who uh, applied 53 coats of polish 
which of course is some kind of body enhancement as well. And anyway, these long nails, you know, if you sit in, in the subway perhaps and you see people with these hugely long fingernails operating their telephone and they, their moves are very different to the ones that you would make. And that, of course, is the, apple, uh, trip, the, the typical, this is a, this changes the way you have to deal with um, your devices. This is cosmetics made just for the media. It's a foundation that you can wear if you're getting photographed. This, it's a transparent foundation of the next generation developed particularly to uh, make the facial skin more photogenic in the camera because uh, every impurities are blurred. Um, in my opinion, the new lipstick is actually the Snapchat filter that uh, really deforms your face and deconstructs it. The new makeup for the digital self is much cheaper, it's more speculative. One euro jewelry brooch. And here, a short detour into uh, plastic surgery or accident surgery, which came about when the first uh, guns were produced and the first gunshot wounds came about in war and, and faces had to be reconstructed. That's what uh, emergency or accident surgery came about, uh, which then came turned into plastic surgery, which is about body modifications that are not always medically required. This is Martina Bick, uh, who documented it very well. She has changed her skin to that of a black woman completely, which is not so well seen, documented in these pictures, and, but there is this transracial theme as well. And then, of course, there are products like this, where um, colored people uh, use creams to lighten, to bleach their skin and become lighter and, and, and approach a Western white image. And that too, uh, skin fair intensive activator fairness cream, one euro jewelry brooch. Exactly. So, how can you use technology? Uh, do you have to be a software developer if you want to know computers? So, I'm now coming to towards my own work, and I'll show you a few alternative body images or make them accessible to you. And uh, do computers actually like pink? Router pop modem Ethernet cable 2016. One euro jewelry brooch. And this is a, a work from 2014. You know from YouTube if you ha when you have to wait for a video. You know, these loading images, and I made that into a pearl necklace. Uh, it's a, an animated gift that everyone can have, but the question then is, how do you deal with that? How can you wear it? There's this discrepancy between the digital and, and your own body, and that is, of course, a very interesting discrepancy. It doesn't have to be resolved, but it somehow has to be felt or reflected. One euro jewelry necklace. <laughs> Nadia's Magnetic Nail Art Studio. This is something I did two years ago, showed at Congress in Hamburg at the time. Uh, that's where it premiered, actually. And surely you know this. There are many people that uh, implant RFID chips into their hands or small magnets, neodyne magnets, and you can then feel electromagnetic waves. And I then thought, well, why couldn't you do that on the thing? You know, that must be much cooler. It's removable too and looks good. And you can do all kinds of tricks with it. And I was sitting there for three days and applied neodymium magnets to people's fingernails. In a portable nail studio. In a portable nail studio. Yes, this is a fun fact. 
um, Begründer von oder I don't know if you know this guy von der Sprache. It's the founder of the progressing language. I have done his fingernails as well. Genau, man kann halt ganz viele tolle Sachen. Well, you can do a lot of uh, nice things with. Kleine Bits hochheben. You, you can. Rundgucken, Tricks. Move uh, this little bits. Von Euro Jewelry Brosche. Um, von Euro. Um, ja, und dann habe ich immer so Brosch. Leuten davon erzählt, ähm, um, I so told people about this, that I do this fingernails, and then they have okay. a lot of many ja, ideas, then I started um, with this Nadia's Nail Art recently, ein, was, um, and I invite different um, zu machen, also artists uh, what you can do on, uh, put on the fingernails. Die ja nicht nur lang und bunt sein, man kann they don't have to be long and colorful, but you can do a lot of mehr. Total Recall When you look here, it's coming to Total Recall Nails. Recall. Have we produced? This is a scene of the um, where the secretary tips on the um, fingers and changes the color. And on the Science Hack Day in 2016, um, we have tried it, and it was important that we do that without LEDs. And you know this um, paper uh, from the chemistry. A classes um, um, where um, uh, Ace changes as red and the base uh, changes as blue. The movie is Total Recall. It's a sci-fi movie this is where a secretary has really cool nail art. All she has to do is get is touch a little stylus to a color field and then tap her fingernails and the color changes just like this. <laughs> this is the future of nail art science. <laughs> and because it's it's not such, <laughs> well, it has to go back. We have made a special feature called the recall, where we can recall the previous color of nails. Und wir haben ähm, okay, auch an no. diesem Projekt ähm, wir haben mit nebenbei noch die Piss Nails ähm, um, erfunden. Wir haben auch noch die Piss Nails in diesem Projekt. Und ich zeige euch auch ein kleines Video. Show you a little video. <lacht> so, with this nail, you can test your pee. Piss Nail. Nein, gut. Nicole, it's a Piss Nail. <lacht> so. Shit, yeah. Has super boring. Has passiert halt nichts. It doesn't happen anything. Um, because uh, um. Urine is uh, slightly um, acid, and that's um, really difficult to produce um, urine that uh, is based. One euro jewelry, one euro jewelry um, bracelet. Um, mit Aram Bartol haben wir an den Post Snowden Nails gearbeitet. Um, also das sind halt so mit diese Mini mit Aram Bartol haben wir diese Post. Do we have to produce this Post um, Snowden um, Nails? Englischsprachige Wikipedia drauf. Uh, und this is the whole um, 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 Wikipedia in the English language. Deadwops von Armatol drauf und auf dem Mittelfinger haben wir. And on the middle finger is. Von 6666 uh, Computerviren drauf. Is a collection of uh, 666 uh, computer viruses. Und on the index finger is the online library. And on the sum is the whole Linux Kali system to boot. Kleine Adapter entwickelt. You also so produce the small adapters of USB halt adapters kann. so that you can put it into und a computer. Hier, um, and, here das Kali -System. and here we Direkt boot the Kali system from the um, fingernail. One euro jewelry brosche. 
on your jewelry brooch. Um, mit Jana Bartel haben wir an den Grill Snails. With Jana Bartel, um, we produce grill snails. Das Video, and I simply show you the videos and I don't have to explain also, a lot. Benutze ja immer YouTube so, and I use, um, ich total gut, so Videos im and YouTube, I use YouTube, uh, um, I really like so the, to make the videos in the and YouTube format. And this is the official video. Hi, herzlich willkommen. Hi, welcome to Nadja's uh, Nail Residence. Und wir arbeiten heute mit der Künstlerin Jana Today Bartel with the artist uh, Jana on this uh, piss nails. Hey. <lacht> Hallo. Jana, schön dich zu sehen. Yeah. Cool. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you. Are you ready? <laughs> cool. Tear my mug, dip thing of honor. Just to find my love, I'm the little prima donna. Homily the sets who came from Spanish Harbor, my roads from concrete that was looking like Nirvana. Gucci Fito making bread with my people My bitches is dope, take my niggas Got the illy stilo With a tequila, cocaine, I got you feel Brain freak, 7-Eleven, so call my nigga Tito I bring order, stance is militant Niggas take offense, cause I'm bold and killing it the Niggas cut the checks and the money look correct If the invitation's sweet, then I'm fucking with the rest I'm done with bum, niggas, it's no disrespect If you're living with your moms, I might have to say next Simple, I don't like simple Guns is high, and I'm gunning for your temple You want your feet and I'm flying continental Pounds is more than a dollar and a peso Don't fuck with bum niggas, papa that's a no-no If your money's slow, the nigga, you better go-go This is a no-bum zone If you look at weak, then you better go We have just the salt tone on the top of the head Right with the right with the van set Name is Catherine, did I happen too much? Wow, great nails, it's actually yeah. gold Nails from real gold. Ja, es war eigentlich so eine, so eine fixe Idee. <lacht> Diese Grills, die es gibt, die man sich auf die Zähne stecken kann. Der Salton war ganz kurz wieder da und ist wieder weg. Für die Fingernägel nachzubauen. Und zwar ähm, so, dass die dann hinterher zu einem Stück werden. Also und eigentlich auch so eine Mischung aus Schlagring und... Ähm, Hallo, wir haben keinen Salton mehr auf den Kopfhörern in der Übersetzung. Mhm. Ähm, was Fingernägel ja eh auch irgendwie sind, also... Das sind ja auch sowieso ein bisschen Waffen, also Krall. Um, und so und so eine weibliche Antwort. Wir haben eine weibliche Response zu Grills. Und sind sie praktisch? Ich weiß, sind sie praktisch? Ja, sie sind praktisch. Ja, mega praktisch. Sorry, by the way, we had a lot of sound for a moment, so it ja, doesn't touch allem, everything. Ja, praktisch ist ja vor allem, dass man sie auch abnehmen kann. Und die andere nice thing is that they are detachable. Und viele... There is uh, many ways. You, there's a problem with many kinds of nail decorations that you cannot take them off if you want to use a tool like a drill or something. They might break. And now with those grill nails, that is no longer a problem. Yeah, exactly. Cool. <laughs> One euro jewelry hat One euro jewelry necklace. It's the art nail. Now this also is the art nail, nail art for your wall. Nail art ausstellen. Uh, you can ex exhibit nail art this way. One euro jewelry brooch. This is, their this is the SBBOD spinning, spinning Beach Boy of Death for individual. Now, this is an exclusive chain the for individuals. It's made out of silicon in the year of the God. It's a circle that strives to unite the inner contradictions. And its circumference is variable but limited. Um, 
Ihr wisst wahrscheinlich alle, was you, ein Spinning course, Beach Boy of Death ist. I guess you all know what the Spinning Beach Boy of Death also is. It's a pointer in Apple's Mac OS X. Whenever an application does not respond anymore, that's what you get. So that's the Beach Ball of Death, of course. And this is a chain that many people can wear. It's an exhibition from Leipzig 2015 in uh, Genau, die darf man nicht alleine tragen. This is a chain that you must not wear on your own. One your jewelry bracelet. Das ist die Wi-Fi chain, an animated, wi chain an animated gift from cardboard and from string. Cardboard and string. One, euro One euro jewelry bracelet. Um, die GPU Now the C G GPU cooling, the GPU cooling nails. One Euro Jewelry, One Euro jewelry brooch. Um, fingering, den habt ihr A vielleicht auch schon mal fingering, which perhaps gesehen. you have seen before. Der ging, uh, that uh, went live, uh, went, went viral um, earlier this year, and uh, it uh, is a replica of my left halt um, ein What's this, the pinky? Ein Ring, uh, it's der a, halt einen Finger it's a ring that is wearing a finger, like so that aliens can wear it too, and when robots can wear the human-like accessoire and humans can have the to feel a little bit human, finger. and humans can have the sixth finger. Now, this, of course, is about the question, why don't we have the sixth finger? Many people did have one earlier in their lives. I think this is polydactyly, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but mostly at kindergarten age, this is being getting removed because it doesn't give you the, it doesn't work well with the others and uh, there are no six finger gloves either opening and closing the door closing the door with a sixth finger switching the light on and off with a sixth finger using a smartphone with a sixth finger Ich habe sogar auf Google auf Platz, I uh, sitzen, even made it schafft, wenn man Finger to, uh, <laughs> position 17 on Google when you're searching for finger One Euro Jewelry, One Euro jewelry <laughs> Necklace. Um, und natürlich ist and of course, noch, uh, yes, parallel it's a real to this, uh, there's also Yes, it's a real earring um, that was created, a real prosthetic that uh, uh, isn't a prosthetic uh, in the usual sense, it's an um, extension, also as jewelly as, as an extension so and a prosthetic um, and uh, that comes in all kinds of skin color tones and, um, this, uh, and uh, the right ear is a female one and the left ear is male of a male. So two uh, gibt, subjects, uh, um, in, uh, and there is a woman in California that bought an ear from me, and uh, on her driver's license she is wearing three ears now. <laughs> 
And so viele Leute not many so cool. perhaps und think der, this so halt cool, and there were many, many Artikel. comments under these articles und, uh, that genau, ich habe aus uh, said, einen I Penis anfertigen lassen. made a, lasse ich an artistic in der penis from silicone, and, and I'm leaving it hanging an. out of my trousers in original size, but non yeah. not many people like it, ja, is one comment. Lesen, yeah, you can read it yourself. Ja, Schmuck, uh, so this is no jewelry, but something for Halloween. If the woman regards this as jewelry, I would urgently ask her to seek medical help. It's very interesting. It went viral, and I then knew, okay, I kind of hit a, a, a sore point there, perhaps. So that wasn't that clear to me earlier. Ja, das ist ähm, mein Lieblingskommentar. Ja, das hier. And people is are worried about Donald Trump, about Donald Trump is when this on. shit is going on. Um, okay, one euro okay, jewelry brooch. Also, now um, this. Vielleicht noch mal kurz. Uh, ich meine das auch alles ernst. I actually am serious about all this. Um, eigentlich geht es nur darum, sozusagen actually, this is about, die männliche Idee des Cyborgs uh, und uh, taking der that male so idea of the cyborg um, and the uh, arms, und the technological hoffe, arms race, and to deconstruct that. And I hope you've had some fun with that. Thank you.